PDF Submittal tool has been added to SDSU 2021 and allows you to export PDF files of different sheets and generate a cover page. It is intended to be used for submittals in the Bluebeam Studio using the Bluebeam Studio Prime license. For more information on how to enable integrations in Studio Prime and how to set up SDS2 PDF Submittal tool, please reference the Bluebeam support article on their website. In the export area on the home screen, you'll see the PDF submittal icon. I'll quickly fill out the information. You'll notice that there's a copy, paste, save, and load icons if I'm using this multiple times. I can then add in my company logo, and if I want this one document per sheet, this would not have them grouped together. I'll fill out my to and from information. And then in the destination, if you have a Studio Prime license, you will log in here, and then you'd browse to where you want to save this to. Otherwise, it will prompt me at the end as well where I want to save it. If you do not have a Studio Prime license, then you'll click on Disk and save that to somewhere on your computer. The first group of sheets that I'm going to add, some gather sheets, detail sheets, and erection sheets. This can autofill the description, or if I uncheck that, then I can put in my own description, like sequence one. In my second example, I will select some detail sheets, gather sheets, and erection sheets, and I'll click on the autofill description, and it'll auto-populate that for me. Then for the CC, I'll include the general contractor and other important people on this project slash the middle. Once I click OK, it will ask me to save my location since I did not do that before, but I could do that in the destination area. If this has been uploaded to Bluebeam Studio, it will show the cover page along with the PDFs organized by the grouping that I selected. I'll log in to my Studio Prime license and then select which one I want to take a look at. On the cover page, you'll notice the information that I filled out, including the company logo that I added. Over on the left side in the bookmarks, you see the grouping. I have everything that is in sequence one. And then if I scroll down, you'll see everything that was in that grouping of two.